The land explored by our ancestors extends from the Altai to the Wide Sea. The scientific expedition, Shells of Nomads, continues to unveil the path of our forefathers. A group of scientists led by Pilgrim of the 21st century, Safari Skakov, has already visited more than 50 countries. Scientists reveal the exciting secrets of the past. Watch an amazing story of a great journey from Trails of Nomads program. Today's Trails of Nomads episode presents What words in Kazakh and Japanese have the same meaning? The ancestors of the Japanese migrated from the current territory of Kazakhstan. What sources indicated? Which Kazakh clans are related to the Japanese according to genetic research? Participants of the Trails of Nomads expedition have arrived in the land of the rising sun. The fates of Kazakhstan and Japan are closely intertwined. They have a lot in common. The Japanese as well as the Kazakhs suffered from the consequences of the atomic explosions. This country, as well as ours, is trying in every possible way to resist the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. In addition, as it turned out, the history of the two peoples also has much in common. Kazakh researchers talked about this with Japan scientists in Tokyo. Kalim boyunca Japan halkı men Türk halkının arasında öte yakınlık köp. According to scientific studies, the Japanese and Turkic peoples have much in common, including psychological features, language, national traditions, youth education. This similarity dates back to the Sumerian period. Oltuk so jagna bar lagna karagan uaktunda koy uksastak var. O uksastak ano yega hastala daladan basak Shumir zamanla bastalad. You see, the Japanese and Kazakhs are very similar to each other. Is this talking about something? Historians say there are common roots. I often quote the words of your emperor, Mr. Akihito, whom I met before. He says that we sleep under one blanket in Asia, but we see different dreams. We have the same thing here in Central Asia. The similarity of the Japanese and the Kazakhs was jokingly noticed by Yelbasi Nur Sultan Nazarbayev during the visit of the Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, to Kazakhstan in 2015. Recently, scientists are increasingly talking about science confirming the kinship of the two peoples. First of all, this applies to languages belonging to the same Altai group. That is why we have many similar words. Japanese scientists who met the members of the expedition confirmed this fact. There is no concrete theory confirming or denying that the Japanese and Kazakhs have one root. And yet, the two peoples have much in common in the language. For example, Japan's word karasu is similar to the Kazakh karga, that is, a crow. There is only one root, kara. For Kazakhs, it means black, in Japanese, kuro. One can find many similar words if studied thoroughly. Many of them are like a continuation of the ancient Turkic language. For example, Ata in ancient Turkic is Dada, Ada, and Ana is Ama, Aba. These words sound in Sumerian the same. Apparently, the Kazakhs and Japanese were close from the Sumerian period. According to scientists, 5,000 years ago, we were two kindred nations. <laughs> There is no exact information about the origin of the Japanese people. There are various assumptions, but family ties with the Turks are unconditional. Confirmation of this is not only the similarity of words, but also the ways of constructing sentences, both in Kazakh and Japanese. They are compiled on the same principle. Linguistic similarity gives advantages in the study of the languages. Now, one can often meet Japanese speaking in Kazakh, and vice versa, Kazakhs who speak Japanese. To do this, it is enough to learn about 2,000 characters. 
every Japanese possesses, on average, the same level of characters. In the famous dictionary Dai Kan Wa Chiten, there are about 50,000 characters. But most of these signs can only be found in ancient literature. The number of specialists able to read it is reducing. If we study all the characters that have become obsolete, the similarity of the Kazakh and Japanese languages would be even more obvious. Some words are almost exactly the same. For example, apa, ata, ana, bir, yaki, tort, juice, men, and there are many such words. Both the Japanese and the Kazakhs have a lot of wise sayings. Proverbs and sayings of the two peoples have the same meaning. They have a national flavor, simplicity, and at the same time the genius of the language. There are times when the paper sinks and the stone floats. A frozen person can be warmed by one word. It is better to be the enemy of a good person than a friend of a bad one. With some money, a fool becomes a master. There are a lot of such wise statements among the Kazakh people. For example, the rhythm of a galloping horse can be conveyed by the sounds of a dombra, and the Japanese have a similar tool. Kazakhs call it Q, the Japanese Sabura. We have many musical rhythms composed of five sounds, and they too, you see, there is a similarity. This is koto, Japanese folk musical instrument. The analogy of Kazakh jetagen. Both structure and sound are the same. Besides koto, there is also shamisen, biwa, shakuhachi, which are also similar to Kazakh musical instruments. All of them, even in the Jomon era, came to Japanese land through the Okinawan Islands. This is confirmed by studies of local scientists. The Jomon period is associated with the Ain tribe. These are the ancient people who inhabited the Pacific coast. Their customs and traditions are similar to Kazakh ones, and this testifies to the kinship of two peoples. The similarity can be traced in national clothes, especially in the patterns embroidered on it. The descendants of the Ain tribe now live in Hokkaido Island. They are few. The exact number is unknown. There is a gradual disappearance due to assimilation. Our peoples are very similar in show and love, protecting nature, worshipping it, especially in the worship of the sun and moon. Even the national symbols of Kazakhstan and Japan are similar. The flags of the two states have images of the sun. They call the sun Nihon which means origin of the sun, most likely the ancestors of the Japanese worship the sun. The Turks also worshipped the sun. In ancient times, the Huns, for example, considered themselves children of the sun. When they showed honor to the heroes, they were raised and exalted, comparing with the sun. The image of the golden man is proof of this, the personification of rich mythology passionary energy and aesthetics of the great steppe civilization. Turkic peoples, including Kazakhs, have such a concept as a blood brother. At a time when the enemy threatened and danger loomed over the homeland, Batars gathered from each clan and took an oath of joint protection of the land. Such ceremony was carried out. In the dishes, with a white drink, cut in their palms, they added drops of their blood and drank. After such ceremonies, people were called blood brothers. The Japanese had similar traditions. This is indicated by the handwritten sources of the samurai period. Sakura country has always lived in close contact with nature. And today, these ancient traditions are preserved. 
Of course, all nations had worship of nature. However, among the Japanese, it developed to the level of religion. Thanks to the seasons, many customs and rituals appeared. For example, there is such a tradition among Japan's people of creating their calendar based on the flowers blooming, snow, and moon. That is, a specific plant corresponds to each month of the year. Tangrenism, which was practiced by the ancient Turks. The worldview of our ancestors was connected to the environment and various natural phenomena. They prayed to the sun, land, water, and fire. In the letter of the Huns to the Chinese rulers, there are such lines. The great Tianzhu, who ascended the throne of the Huns, in agreement with heaven, sun, and moon. And among the Kazakhs, the names of the months are associated with natural phenomena, and the reckoning is associated with the movement of the stars Kambar and Urker. The Kazakh people have always paid great attention to the knowledge and veneration of their ancestors. Everyone should remember at least seven generations of their grandfathers. Japanese also should know the history of their paternal surname. Therefore, it is very important to have an heir and a successor to the clan. Like Kazakhs, representatives of several generations can live in one house, grandfathers and grandmothers, children and grandchildren. They pay great attention to the family, as we do. This is, first of all, the honor and respect of elders. All that adults say is a law for children. Both Kazakhs and Japanese take off their shoes at the entrance to the house. There are customs and traditions regarding the birth of a child. For the first time, Kazakhs cut a child's hair and nails only after 40 days. The Japanese have the same right in the temple a month later. Peoples have common rules in raising children. Both Japanese and Kazakhs are preparing the boy to become a warrior and earner, and the girl housewife. Matchmaking of babies is common both in the country of the rising sun and in the great steppe. The Eurasian continent had a very strong influence on Japanese culture. Our principles, customs and traditions are very similar to Kazakh ones. Everyday life is also similar. For example, both nations traditionally have a meal at a low table. People pay particular attention to hospitality, veneration of the elders, the special status of elders and men in the family. And this, of course, connects us. The Japanese believe that their ancestors came to the archipelago from the mainland. That is, people appeared not on the islands. This is out of the question, since the most ancient artifacts found here date from around the 7th century BC. According to Japanese scientists, their ancestors moved here from the current territory of Kazakhstan. This is confirmed by several historical facts. In signs, there is such a phenomenon as a spot of the Mongol. This blue spot appears on the newborn body on the right thigh. Such a stain happens both among Kazakhs and Japanese. That is why our peoples are considered kindred. In the Osaka History Museum, you can see models of fortresses that date back to the 7th century BC. They are very similar to Saka's ones. Stone statues are also found. All this suggests that the Japanese once migrated from the territory of the Great Steppe. Relationships are confirmed by the results of genetic studies.
Some of the Japanese belong to the S3D group. This mutation is referred to as M407. According to this mutation, the Japanese are related to some Kazakh clans, mostly to the middle one. They are also related to Buryats, in particular to the Ehirit and Bulaga tribes. This holotype was split 4,000 years ago. The method of determining family ties through DNA analysis has changed all previously established principles in this area. According to geneticists, humanity has spread in Southeast Africa. It was there that people first appeared. After the increase in numbers, people began to spread around the world. So, part moved to Asia on the territory of the Great Steppe. Later, local residents divided into three large associations. People settled on the coast of the seas, forests, inhabitants, and steppe people, who later were named Kipchaks. By the 8th century, most of the inhabitants of the Great Steppe were known as Kipchaks. The Kazakh scientist Koishigara Sargarawi studied this issue in Chinese written archives. Father of history, Herodotus said all Greek gods except Dionysus were borrowed from the Africans. And who are these Africans? What language did they speak? There is no information about that. To explore this issue, world mythologists joined together and published a work entitled Word Mythology. A special dictionary was published to this work. If you rely on it, then every Greek god has his own African name. They are very similar to the Kazakh names. Therefore, the assumption that the first inhabitants of Africa were Turks has a right to exist. Of course, then, perhaps, the name Turks did not exist. However, all those who are now called Turkic-speaking, Turkic peoples, spoke exactly the language of African ancestors. Representatives of the As tribe were first to come to the territory of the Great Steppe. The word Asia may have been derived from the name of this tribe. That is, the words As and Uya, where Uya means a nest. Their language was Turkic, says Koishigara Sargaraoli. This assumption is confirmed by the research of Russian and Latvian scientists Yuri Drozdov and Galina Shuken. According to them, the first language of mankind was the Turkic language. Subsequently, it formed the basis for the Kazakh and Japanese languages. I used to hear old people said that somewhere far away is the country of Japan, so this is our land. Then I wondered how Japan could be our land. Perhaps there is some truth in the words of the elders. From 1274 to 1281, Kublai Khan made trips to the Japanese islands. Representatives of the Kongli and Kipchaks were among the military leaders of the Mongolian army. Many of them did not return to their homeland and remained there. We studied the history of the campaigns of Kublai Khan. In 2016, we discovered new information. After a storm at sea, 30,000 out of 100,000 Mongolian troops landed on one of the Japanese islands. Until this time, we had no information about them. Now we became aware that many of them survived. Most likely, the descendants of the surviving warriors live on the island. The participants of the scientific expedition Trails of Nomads decided to check the assumption and went to Fukuoka. Watch the next episode to learn more about this.